G'day folks, it's me again. It's been a little while since I made a video, so I thought I might as well do a video. Anyway, today's video is going to be about a lamp. A metal halide lamp. This lamp. I've showed it before on a video quite a number of years ago, but I was never able to fire it up. Uh, it's quite a nice lamp actually, it's an Osram Powerstar HQIT 2000 watt and it outputs 205,000 lumens which is quite bright and cool temperature 4200 Kelvin with a service life of 9000 hours. Now the electrical specs are that it has a 230 volt arc which runs at 9 amps which means it is designed to run between a couple of phases on either 380 or 440 volts which means I was never able to fire it up because obviously I don't have three phase but then I found these what these actually are is a ballast which is designed to run one 1000 watt metal halide lamp which is normally ran between a couple of phases on high voltage gear on normal single phase 240 volt mains what's actually inside it is basically a step up transformer and then just a normal high voltage choke if you look at the run current it says 4.5 amps 4.5 amps if you do the math times that by 2 9 amps put 2 in parallel let's fire it up right so there's the uh, ballasts wired up in parallel uh, it's very important to get the phasing right so I've made sure that's okay and this lamp does have integral starting electrodes so the two high voltage igniters on the left which is a Philips parallel and a Palmar superimposed we won't need them it's just straight to the lamp just a quick look at the uh, starting resistors they feed an auxiliary electrode one at either end of the arc tube and they are fitted with bimetallic switches which when the lamp runs up they open and remove them from the circuit obviously we can see the arc tube there full of the various metal halide salts and you can just make out those tiny auxiliary electrodes so let's go for it right I've uh, lowered the exposure a bit so you should be able to see the lamp start and then once it's starting to run up I'll change the lens for the 180mm macro and then stick an ND1000 filter on it and hopefully we'll be able to have a look at the arc so power in 3, 2, 1 nice close the aperture a bit it's already very bright Pulling 20 amps from the mains. Nice. Right, there's the lamp at full power and it's goddamn bright I mean you can't even look at the walls the reflection is dazzling and there's some heat Jesus Christ the room's up to 25 degrees already and oh yeah that's bright I'm looking through a ND1000 filter by the way so let's see if we can get a nice close-up of one of the electrodes Whew, bloody hell that is bright so bright I can barely read the scope because of the glare on the screen <laughs> there's a shot of one of the electrodes oh it's quite hard to actually uh, make it out because of the curvature of the quartz arc tube but you can see it and look at that arc tube oh. you can see the auxiliary electrode at the bottom there Oof. that is bright 
We're certainly pulling some current from the mains. Whew. I'm going to try and get a shot of the electrode glow when I power the lamp down, but I'm not sure how this is going to work. Oh yeah, I think they're warm. They got very warm. Oh well, fellas, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully there'll be more videos soon. Bye-bye now.